Hey Black Crew and welcome to my channel. Alright, hey Fly Crew, welcome to my channel. Today is day two or three of my Ready Reserve vlog and yesterday I got airport standby and I was on airport standby for five hours. This is just a note that we do get paid for airport standby. We get paid our hourly pay plus we get paid per diem. And all I did was go to flight. <laughs> um, I did that the last 30 minutes of my five hours at airport standby and then I was released for the day. So this morning they called me to do a Omaha turn. So I'm going from Denver to Omaha and then back to Denver and we'll see what else this two day holds because I think I'll get back and get released around 12, a little bit after 12 p.m. And that's probably a little bit too early for me to be released for the day. Of course, I'll update you guys. in this video right here. I went to Hawaii and there was some confusion about me calling Hawaii International. I'm well aware that Hawaii is part of the United States of America, so it's technically not international. But when it comes to my airline checks and our duties, we treat it as international because we have extra paperwork to do. For instance, the passengers have to fill out intake forms to enter Hawaii. We board 45 minutes before departure, just like any other international. When it comes to airport distance, it's more than 60 minutes away from the nearest airport so we consider it international. I'm working in the D as in dog position, so therefore I'm on the 800 aircraft. And yeah, I catch you guys in a little bit. Hey Fly Crew, so we're here in Omaha, Nebraska. We have a little bit of time before we have to start boarding and we head back to Denver. This flight is kind of short, so by the time you do service and do trash, it's time for you to get ready to clean up and sit down. My schedule hasn't changed yet, so we'll see what happens when I get back to Denver. Hopefully I'll get a two day so I can actually work now that I'm on call, but yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. All right, hey Fly Crew. So crew scheduling changed my schedule and I am now deadheading on the same airplane that I just worked on to Dallas. And then I'm gonna work a flight from Dallas to Baltimore, which is about three hours. <laughs> the flight from here to Dallas is around two hours. So I'll try to make sure I take a nap. My duty day right now is over 12 hours. My overnight tonight is about nine hours, so I'm definitely gonna call scheduling when I land in Baltimore and just talk about what my options are 
for tomorrow. I am supposed to dead head back to Denver on a 6.30 a.m. flight, so you know how I do. I'm definitely gonna try to wave that dead head so I can get home to Atlanta. It's an early flight, so fingers crossed they will actually release me. I just wanna check in with you guys, let you guys know the update. So I'll talk to you guys later. So we made it here to Dallas. We're gonna board in like 30 minutes. So I slept, I ate, and then I slept. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in Baltimore. Hey, Black Crew. Definitely a long day. I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep because the van only leaves at 5 a.m. I'm supposed to report at 6 a.m. So yeah, and it is currently 10 p.m. on the dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and shower, eat, and take this nap. I'll catch you tomorrow. change my schedule so now I go from Baltimore to Dallas and then Dallas to Houston and then I'm supposed to dead head from Houston to Denver so I still have hopes of waving that dead head and going from Houston to Atlanta we'll see what happens another thing that happened that sucked this morning is that we have several apps that we can use to get information I tend to stick with the company issued apps and one of the apps told me like a completely wrong gate number and for the people who are familiar with Baltimore's airport, I was at gate B as in boy 12. And I asked one of the customer service agents, like, is this where I'm supposed to be going? Because there's like no one here and the flight is supposed to leave in like 45 minutes. She was like, no, actually you're supposed to be at A16. So from anyone who's familiar with Baltimore's airport, B12 to A16 is literally from one end of the airport to the other. So I got my exercise this morning. I'm tired. Like I said, Chris schedule going to change my schedule, so I could have actually slept an additional hour. And when I woke up, when my alarm went off, I checked my schedule and they had not changed it. But by the time I got dressed and I was standing in the lobby, that's when they told me I had a schedule update. So I'm like, dang, there goes that hour of sleep. <laughs> But yeah, I just want to update you guys. Three flights today, one of them being a deadhead. Hopefully I can wave that deadhead and go home to Atlanta. So I will catch you guys later. Hey, fly crew. So I am back on the airplane that I just got off of. We made it to Houston safely, um, but I forgot some food in the compartment in the back so i'm about to grab that i called scheduling they told me that i can actually call back in an hour to see if i can be released from my deadhead to denver and then if that's the case it works out because there is a 1 10 p.m flight to atlanta